Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be talking about Bud Dupree in a Bud Dupree film session where we're gonna be just kind of talking about what he brings to the table. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So before we dive into the film analysis in just a sec, let's talk about his stats from last year. He only played in 11 games, was a little bit injured for a little bit of time, but he still had eight sacks, 31 combined tackles. And overall, this guy is a machine when it comes to getting to the quarterback. The year before, he had 11 and a half sacks. And sure, he's playing with TJ Watt and a great Pittsburgh Steelers defense, but he's one of those integral parts of that Pittsburgh Steelers defense last season uh, that really allowed that Steelers defense to be good. And I mean, the attributes he has and the things he brings to the table, all because of his speed, athleticism, size and now we'll talk about that in the film analysis and I think the number one thing when it comes to Bud Dupree is his ability in pursuit it's not necessarily at sacking the quarterback but it's also in just pursuit of the football he's got a great knack and instinct for the football and right here you're going to see Bud Dupree lined up at the bottom of your screen and this is not going to be a, a passing play but rather a run play run design play here and simply Bud Dupree comes yeah he's coming unblocked uh, but at the same time uh, he's just so quick. I mean, the, the, the initial idea is to get this guy over here to block Dupree, but nonetheless, he's just so fast and so quick and so, uh, you know, and, uh, so able to get to the football and he has a knack for getting to the football that he just simply gets around that block and just wraps him up. And this is just textbook. He comes unblocked and just goes right at him and tackles him for a loss. Really good job here getting Saquon Barkley behind the line of scrimmage. Um, if you're Bud Dupree, just does a really fantastic job using his quickness and his speed off the edge and his burst to accelerate. And then that knack at closing and finding the football, um, allows him to make that tackle. So really good job here by Bud Dupree showcasing his speed as well as his knack for finding the football. Now though, let's look at him in pass rush. Uh, and we're gonna see him over here on the left side of your screen. He's gonna be one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. But the thing about Bud Dupree is he's smart. He realizes that not always you want to go straight downhill. And I talked about this uh, in some of my videos before where it's like, hey, sometimes if you're a pass rusher, you've got to be patient. You've got to play the longer game. You've got to be patient with it. You got to be smart. Um, and in this situation, uh, what Bud Dupree is doing here is he starts by going straight at uh, the offensive tackle. He starts by going straight at him. But then he realizes that he doesn't really have anywhere to go here. He can't really get to the outside. So he's patient and he's smart and he cuts it back inside. And then he's able to get a free, uh, an absolute free uh, rush onto Drew Locke. And then you see it's once again that, that, that quick area pursuit and that quick area quickness and speed and athleticism that allows Bud Dupree to be really, really dynamic because he's so fast in short, in short spaces where he's able to burst and accelerate. And then he ends up, you know, once again, having that knack for the football ends up getting a fumble here by just po poking his arm in there. I think that ends up just being a sack. I think his knees down, but not, nonetheless, it's just, it's that pursuit. And he's so good in pursuit because he's quick and he's smart and he's fast and he's athletic um, and he's, and he's so quick and it just get he just gets to the football because he's got the knack for the football. He's got the instinct for a football and you mix the instinct with the pursuit and the speed he possesses and he becomes a really dangerous pass rusher. In this situation, we're going to see him on the edge over here. And this is going to be much more of him showcasing his speed and his ability to get round and off its alignment during pass rush uh, situation. So right here, he's basically just going to, he's just going to outwork the left tackle. It's really that simple. He barely even touches him. He keeps a solid distance away from him. And then he uses his hands to just be able to go round. And then you mix the hands and the speed and then he, the, and, the, and then the pursuit of the quarterback finding the football. And then he simply just wraps him up for a sack. And that's exactly what Bud Dupree does. I mean, that's Bud Dupree's game. Um, his game is getting to the quarterback, and he does it so well because his ability to just pursue the, the, the football. He has an instinct for the football. He's a knack for finding the football. And in this situation, he just goes out and gets the football. And this is just a fantastic job here by Bud Dupree, just going out and getting the football because at the end of the day, he's faster than the offensive tackle, was able to get around the offensive lineman and then just get to the football. And this is just a great job here by Bud Dupree, once again, showing his instincts and showing his skill sets and his speed and his quickness off the edge that allow him to be really, really dynamic. Now let's look at another play where Bud Dupree, once again, is showing off his instincts. You're going to see him here, number 48 on, uh, just circled in there. It's all about his instincts, okay? It's his instincts, it's his pursuit, it gets me up, it gets me excited, and the reason for that is he's just so dominant, and it's his speed, and his it's just his pursuit of the football. And you're going to see him here, the, the, the Steelers like to blitz a lot, 
and they end up bringing uh, Dupree here after the quarterback, and you see he's just he's getting his way to the quarterback. He's finding uh, where Lamar Jackson is. He's getting after him. And then as Lamar Jackson moves up, what I love here from Bud Dupree is he's got the instinct to smack down on this football and cause a fumble. And I think I have a better angle of it somewhere here. Yeah, I have a better angle of it right here. But as you see, as Dupree's gotten over here, right, he uses his speed, he uses his quickness, he uses his, you know, instinct to get there. But then he uses his awareness too. Awareness is really important with defensive players because some defensive players will just go for the, will just go for the sack here. But Dupree knows that he can go out and get this football. And as Jackson tries to throw, swaths down on that football, that's a fumble, and then that ends up being a turnover. And if you're able to create turnovers and sacks as a as a pass rusher, like Bud Dupree is able to do, and at the level that Bud Dupree is able to do, you're going to be a very influential player because you can create turnovers as a defensive player. And if you're able to create turnovers as a defensive player, that's really going to help your football team. So overall, Bud Dupree... Absolutely fantastic because he's got the awareness as well as the instincts and the pursuit and the speed and the quickness and then just the athletic ability to just go out and make plays. So overall, love what Bud Dupree brings to the table. And this is another situation where it's Bud Dupree once again and his quickness off the edge. You're going to see him here at the bottom of your screen, and he's just going to go around the tackle and try and get to the quarterback. And once again, he's not really making a move in the situation. He's not really making a move. He's simply just, you know... He looks like he's, he's held up here pretty well, but he simply uses his arms and his length as, le as leverage and then simply just runs right round the tackle and gets to the quarterback. It's not a fumble, ends up being an incomplete pass, but nonetheless, the pressure that Dupree, du uh, Bud Dupree brings is his ability to get to the quarterback because he's so fast, he's so quick, and he's so uh, agile and nimble and, 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 just, and just quick to the point where he's able to get round and get to the quarterback and make the quarterback's life difficult and then make a big play, right? You know, causing it, uh, causing incompletion in the third quarter um, in a big part of the game that, you know, helps the, the Steelers win this game because, you know, at the end of the day, this is what Dupree does. He brings the pressure because of his speed and his quickness and his size and, that, and his athletic ability. But the thing is, he's not he's not super, you know, he's not super big, but he use, he's got good size and he's got good, uh, you know, he's got good physicality where he can match up against tackles, as you can see there. And then he, can, he has the speed to get around them and just completely get around them cleanly and then explode onto the quarterback like a shark. So overall, really good job here by Bud Dupree using his speed as his number one uh, characteristic and then using that, you know, ability to, to pursue the football and that knack for getting to the football uh, that makes him so deadly. And once again, we're going to keep on talking about Bud Dupree pursuing the football. And here we're going to see him at the top of the screen there. And the thing about if you're an off-ball linebacker, you need to be really good at pursuing the football. And you need to have great speed, sideline to sideline, ability to get after uh, pass catchers, and ability to just track guys down. And that's what Dupree does in this situation. We're going to watch him here once again. It's going to be a, a run design play to the right, to the running back. And Dupree starts over here, and he has that instinct to come all the way around and chase after this running back. And as the play gets stuffed up, just look at the speed and the closing area quickness that Dupree brings, and then he gets to the football. I mean, he runs a solid probably uh, 15 yards here to make this play um, around the back of the offensive line. And once again, it's the speed and that pursuit and that instinct that makes him, you know, that makes him really successful because he's got that initial burst that allows him to get into a good situation. And then as that play gets stuffed up and there's nowhere for, for the running back to go, Dupree is that real good closing area quickness for him to go out there and finish the play. So overall, just really good job by Bud Dupree here. Uh, just the, the speed is there, the physicality is there, the athletic ability is there, but most importantly, the pursuit of the football and those instincts make him really special. And with the Titans signing Bud Dupree in free agency, um, it, th those things that we've talked about are going to go to the Titans. They're in desperate need of a guy who can rush the passer, and Bud Dupree is that guy. He's fast, he's physical, he's get, gets off the edge quickly, and that's exactly what he's going to bring to the Titans. He's going to bring 8 to 9 to 10 sacks, and he's going to be a big impact player for this Titans defense. This Titans defense last season was one of the worst defenses in the entire league in getting pass rush and getting guys to the quarterback. So Dupree going there makes a lot of sense for the, for the Titans, and the things that he brings to the table are those speed, that physicality, the ability to get to the quarterback, the knack for the ball, the instinct for the ball. They're getting a very good defensive player in Bud Dupree, and it makes tons of sense for him to go to the Tennessee Titans. More importantly, though, Dupree, you know, we we, we talked about in today's video, I mean, he's smart, too. Um, it's not just his size, his speed, his strength, uh, but it's also his knack for the ball. It's his awareness. And all those things are things that the Tennessee Titans defense is in desperate need of. Their offense is great, right? Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill, uh, they're going to steal the show. Their, their offense is going to be good. Maybe they want to add somebody uh, as a pass catcher uh, after losing Johnny Smith as well as Corey Davis in free agency. But nonetheless, 
The defensive side of the football was in the massive need for them last year. So shoring up that defense with Bud Dupree, who's a guy who smart, gets out of, gets after the quarterback, gets after the football, and has a knack and an instinct for finding the football, makes a lot of sense, and I think he could be a really impact player for this Tennessee Titans team. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? What were your takeaways? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.